How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we are going to be doing a career simulation for the Braves prospect who they brought up and has been on fire since he's entered the majors. That's Austin Riley. So if you guys want to see more career simulations, let me know down in the comment section below which player you would like to see next. Make sure you hit the like button. That's the easiest way for me to know if you guys enjoy these videos. And also, if you're new to the channel, you like MLB content, you like MLB the show content, make sure you hit that red subscribe button we're almost at 10,000 subs so hitting that by the end of the month would be amazing so let's take a look well first if you've never seen one of these career simulations um there's a whole playlist on the channel you guys can go back and watch them but what we do is we let the cpu handle everything and what we just we just kind of take it um the first year we see how they did then we go basically we stop if they make any awards or anything like that if they win any awards but if they don't win any awards we go five ten 15 so on until they retire so really we're just taking a peek every couple years to see how they do austin riley so let's take a look third base left field we're using the most updated roster by the user riding rosters and you guys can see he's been added to the game a potential 22 years old third base secondary left field um as his primary i know he's been kind of moving back and forth between third and left quite a bit but you guys can see his stats here. He looks pretty good. 67 overall. Decent fielding. Hitting stats aren't bad either. Decent speed too. So pretty pretty good starting overall um, to see here. So he's already going to be put into left field. Which I definitely I like the looks of that. I, def, I, I'm, I think we want to get him involved as much as possible. Um, but um, we'll have to see. Maybe take out Marcakis. And Ciarte. We'll take out NCRT. We're we're just gonna we're just gonna do it. I know I said we were gonna let the CPU handle everything, but we're definitely gonna we're gonna intervene just a little bit, just because I want to see how well he can do the first season, second season, so on. I want to get him involved as much as possible. So that's that's about it for season one. Let's see how it finishes. Maybe get a rookie of the year for him. So first season, Braves do make the post. The postseason and uh, let's take a look do we have anything for austin riley maybe a rookie of the year he does he does win rookie of the year which is awesome to see so let's go take a look see how he did with his rookie year season he's already up to a 71 so that's a huge jump in the first season but you can see his stats have gone up good power versus righties um, his contact versus righties went up a lot um, his fielding went up quite a bit as well that's a big jump in all categories of fielding and then um plus three for discipline vision and stuff like that so let's let's take a look at his stats 134 games so he sat out you know not too much actually i was kind of expecting them to sit him based on his low overall but 15 home runs 116 hits 24 doubles 64 rbis 45 walks okay a 240 average with a 308 on base percentage almost 400 slugging and an ops of points or a 705 an ops of 705 so not too bad at all i mean when you look at it he, you know his war war is a little low if you really want to get too in depth but overall not too bad it looks like they made a couple trades randall gritchick um i thought they i saw that they traded for another outfielder yeah steven duggar um so they they've made a lot of trades for outfielders because i was i was a little worried that that would come into effect so maybe if they don't bring back donaldson we can move him to third base that way we intervene get him actually involved in the team um since it seems like they're adding a lot of outfielders so let's see really quickly if they do go any further in the postseason okay they do okay it's so taking on the dodgers they do get eliminated by the dodgers let's quickly take a look at his stats for the postseason um yikes a 143 average so things didn't go good for him during the postseason but overall a solid year rookie of the year for him in season one you can't complain about that and uh, he's off to a hot start just like he is in real life so let's see how the rest of his career plays out i'll catch you guys at the next event that happens all right season five again made the postseason the only time the braves haven't made the postseason was season four let's take a look any league leaders no acuna acuna's been on a, a tear but nothing for oh riley won a gold glove this year so there's there's a new award for him the first since his um his what's it called rookie of the year award so you guys can see he's up to an 87 and his fielding 
through the roof, but his hitting stats really aren't improving too much. You guys can see it's kind of affecting his hitting performance. His strikeout numbers have only gotten higher. His hits have stayed about the same, 120, you know, 120 or so. Average is very consistent, 230. On base percentage is about the same. Slugging, like everything is the same. He hasn't really had a really big breakout year, which is really unfortunate to see because he has the potential. He has a really good rating. Obviously, the, like I said, the hitting stats aren't there, but um, it's really struggling. It's, you can tell it's like a really, you know, a big issue that his hitting stats aren't aren't doing that well, which sucks because in real life, he's a really good hitter. So um, we may have to find a way to uh, get him into, you know, get him a, a breakout season somehow. We got to figure that out. So you guys can see that through five seasons. This is this is what it's kind of looking like. So, again, very consistent in terms of everything. I mean, he had his most home runs this year, but hits rbis walks strikeouts they're om it's almost like it's just a copy of the season before so he's hitting free agents to see this year we'll see if he signs with the braves again currently the braves kind of look like this they don't look like a bad team at all they look really strong bullpen's a little little empty but let's see how the postseason finishes um do they the advance they actually get eliminated right away unfortunately let's take a look really quickly how riley did four at bats so he had one hit and four at bats in one game so and not too bad but um maybe if we move him to third base to take over for Johan camargo maybe that'll affect his rating a little bit i don't know um but we're gonna leave it there and if he signs with a new team i'll let you know if not we'll just continue with the braves and see how things finish up Alrighty, so season seven austin riley signs with the red sox on a five-year 70.9 million dollar deal I had to think about that for a second because season six he signed like a one-year deal with the um with the braves so now after this year he actually had his best season in season seven he won another gold glove i believe it is maybe this is season six i gotta double check now because now i'm feeling like i got everything mixed up so maybe this is let's take a quick look let's take a quick look where is he this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, this was season six. So going into season seven, you guys can see this is where he's standing. Um, just had one of his better years, 250 home runs and RBIs. The RBIs are still there, just not in terms of home runs. Um, actually kind of a low, a low amount for him, but the strikeouts went down. Hits are about the same, but um, you guys can see kind of a little bit better for average so big contract for him we'll see how things go again he's he's a really good fielder you just got to get those hitting stats a little bit better so we'll see how he fits in at this uh this red sox team i feel like it kind of kind of ruined him because i don't i don't really know where where he's gonna fit unless we somehow get jd martinez in right and then somehow they squeak in austin riley but so that's the move for him he signed a really big contract moving to the red sox Let's see how it plays out for him. Already season 10. And you know what? It, I mean, fielding wise, Austin Riley has been pretty good. He's won multiple gold gloves. I think he just won his third last year. So let's take a look. See if he won another one this season. Um, He's in left field still. So let's, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Do we got one? We do. We have another one. So back to back gold glove years. For Austin Riley that brings him up to four in his career um, something crazy that happened though was the year that Riley left to go to the Red Sox and then the year after that so his first two years with the Red Sox the Braves won the World Series which is kind of crazy to think that he leaves and of course the Braves win the World Series but let's take a look and see how he's doing since his time um, since he left and he went to the Red Sox. So you guys can see he's 85 overall at the age of 31. Still a phenomenal, uh, phenomenal uh, fielder. Hitting wise, it looks like he's starting to dip a little bit. And he's last season, he had a little bit of a down year, 222 average, um, played 150 games. Year before that, he had, a, he had a pretty solid year, 23 home runs, 74 RBIs. And I looked at those stats and I thought, mm, maybe we have a breakout season coming. You know, maybe a streak of good good form or something but uh unfortunately you know he dipped this year he's kind of going back upwards in a good trending direction averages up home run numbers are decent rbi numbers 
but um, he looks like he played a, a few few less games in the previous season. And then his first year with Boston was a little rough as well. He only played 50 games. So unfortunately, I think the move to Boston really hurt him. I don't think it was the right move because like this this season right here is like right in the middle of his prime. He was what, 27, 28, you know, 29, 30, 31. I feel like he could have had some really good years with Atlanta, but he decided to leave anyway. So he still has two years left on his deal. Um, the, the Red Sox haven't made the playoffs in about three years. So he's been out of the playoffs in three years, which is unfortunate, um, to see actually, yeah, three years. And then, so we'll, we'll see so far. I'm a little, I'm a little underwhelmed. I feel like he's definitely a lot better player in real life than what we're getting here. So hopefully maybe he can get like a little late power surge in his career. We'll have to wait and see. So um, I'll catch you guys whenever something big happens next. Alrighty, so Austin Riley is now headed to the Texas Rangers, a three-year, $39.3 million contract. Let's go take a look really quick, see how he's looking. Where are the Rangers? There they are. So he's going to be moving to the bench, it looks like, unless they bring him in over Steel Walker. He's down to an 82. Um didn't have a terrible year, you know, pretty consistent with what he's been doing. Uh, it just looks like he's been playing in less games, but you know, the numbers are pretty similar to what he's already, what he's already, you know, been producing. So we'll see how he does for the next three years. Kind of interested to see how he'll do with the Rangers. So like I said, guys, if anything else happens, I'll let you guys know. Alrighty. So season 15 was, um, the end of his contract with the Rangers. So he went to a new team, and that new team was the New York Mets. The issue was he was sent down to Triple A. So at the age of 36, he's a 66 overall rated player. He only had a one-year deal, so he's going to be hitting free agency again. Last year, he only played 11 games for the Rangers um, in the last year of his deal. This year, he only made it 70 in the majors. So it's looking like his time in the majors is running pretty thin. And um, you guys can see what's going on here. So he's been around a 250 hitter throughout his career. Um, it's actually a little bit lower now that I look at it. 241. He's amassed 1,500 hits, 191 home runs, and just shy of 700 RBIs. I definitely think in real life he's going to do a lot better. I think his hitting stats were a little bit underrated. But you can see he's really fallen off very quickly. So I'll be surprised if he joins another team. These might be the last stats you see of Austin Riley in the major leagues. So if I let if he signs with another team, I'll let you guys know. Otherwise, I'll see you guys at his uh, retirement since I, I kind of have a feeling, you know, this is year 15. Um, things are kind of getting to the point where we, we may not see him too much longer in the major. So I'll catch you guys. Uh, whatever happens next. Alrighty, so Austin Riley in 2041 has finally retired. It's been a while. You guys can see he was part of the Blue Jays organization. He's 45 years old. He's 50 overall. Um, he hasn't played in a few years. He played one game for the Padres in 2037. Um, he hit 333. He had one at bat. Um, in 2034, he played for the Pirates. Um, a couple games didn't go too well. He hit 111 in that time. And obviously, I think the last time that we talked was the Mets. It's been quite a while. I've been kind of hoping he would retire. He just keeps signing with different teams. And I guess finally, he decided to have enough. So you guys can see his totals, 193 home runs, 704 RBIs, 1,551 hits. Um, is a career average of 239 with the 309 on base percentage. So, I mean, I feel like he would do a little bit better in real life if he had this long of a career. But obviously, you know, his hitting stats just never really lived up to the hype. And I feel like that's what kind of let him down was that his hitting stats never really lived up to the hype. So let's take a look at if he made it to the Hall of Fame or not. And he did not. So unfortunately, that's that's how it ends for Austin Riley. Maybe in real life, you know, it'll go a lot better for him with the way he's performing. It looks like he's the real deal. It looks like the Braves got another really good young talent. Um, that have joined their team. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, the Austin Riley career simulation. If you did, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you were new and enjoyed the content. Like I said, we're almost at 10,000 subs. Let's see if we can hit that by the end of the month. And uh, in the comment section, let me know who to do next. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.